Stand by. Four point four nine. Whoo! Barely made it that time. All right, gents, we are out here trying out the new Skeletargets. targets. All right, what are they? Well, they're a new type of scoring targets. Uh, this is actually the second iteration we just did. Two iterations for each one of these tests. Carl, what are you talking about? Let's head down range and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you through it. All right, so the standard for the industry pretty well is your IPSC or IDPA targets. It's got different scoring zones, A, B, C, D, uh, but it doesn't really follow the anatomy of the, of the human body. So uh, ex extendedgun.com, you can go to their website, great website. They've got these targets called Skeleton targets. Now, out here at T1G, we have our own targets with different scoring areas on them. We're always looking for new drills. Now, what Extended Gun did was, uh, there's some old SF guys got out from third group, and uh, they, they took the old CTE tests from Sephardic and our other CQB schools, where you could gauge uh, the guy's time standard for doing reloads or time standards for doing this drill or that drill. There are set standards, but what they did, they took that a step further. They, they came up with a target, and the same thing, instead of just shooting silhouette or cartoon targets, you can see the basic anatomy. Now they made this so it's scorable. The green part of the target, uh, basically arms, everything else, it's worth one point. If you get within the blue area, basically the thoracic cavity and the parts of the skull other than the brain and the spine, that's worth two points. And then if you're in the red, which would be the heart all the way up through the center of the spine, all the way up to the brain, uh, brain housing box, that's worth three points. They took it a step past that. They actually came up with drills. Now you can go to their website, extendedgun.com, and they have, I'd say it's six or seven, um, rifle tests and then six or seven uh, pistol tests and they have exact standards what you need to do and they break it down instead of it being uh, basic intermediate and expert they call it average joe gunman and operator so it's kind of cool kind of funny a little more modernized um, they took it a step past that again now we believe especially here at t1g a lot of the instructors will do stress tests at the end of most days Likewise, these CTEs that extendagun.com does, uh, they have stress built into every one of these drills. So I just got done shooting the second iteration of this particular drill, which is called long gun down. But before you did the first drill, you had to do two 10 meter shuttle runs from the 10 meter line where you shot down, touch the base of the wall here, go back, do that twice. Uh, it will, it'll, it'll get your heart rate up a lot. No, but I mean, it's gonna be up in a gunfight. All right, so uh, what it is, is it's a five second drill. If you can't make five seconds, you fail automatic, all right? Five seconds, what you do is you started with two rounds, one or two rounds in your long gun. Once you go to bolt lock, immediately transition to your, your uh, sidearm, your pistol. Two more rounds into the first target, and then transition to your second target, shoot four more rounds. Set it back up again, shoot it a second time. Two rounds from the long gun, one or two. Then whenever you hit slide lock, transition to your sidearm. Four rounds total on the first target, four more rounds total on the second target. Again, the second one, you had to do it in five seconds or less also. All right, so I made time both times, barely. All right, so we'll start with target number one. I shot this drill right to left. All right, now, always gonna be easier with the long gun. I've got uh, my two rifle bullets. For my first mag, two rifle bullets for my second run. Nice, that's easy. And then I've, my, uh, three of my pistol bullets are also three points apiece. That's not a bad score right there. So three, six, nine, 12, uh, 15, 18. Come on, you can say it, 21. Two points for this one, 23 points. 23, I can live with that. Come over here, target number two. Now this is all pistol. I've got one, there's two, 
three, there's four, five, six, at three points apiece, that's 18, 19, 20, 20, uh, 21, 22. All right, now you see I have this one extra round here. Uh, what I did was I saw the hole show up out here that second time that I shot it. Good follow through, I figured I had time. I sent one more bullet, landed out here. I, 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 okay, I get one extra point. All right, but uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I got 23 on both targets. There's 23. All right, so that's 23 points. That's the same as I got on the other target. Pulled it off by throwing that extra round on it. Um, not a bad score. Barely made time on the second one. But uh, again, this one was called Long Gun Down. This is probably my worst uh, one. I'm better with just the rifle ones because uh, I throw a lot of extra rounds at the target, but I, I managed to make points. Okay, so it's, ex it's at extendedgun.com. Again, you can buy the targets at their website there. And again, you can do any other drills with them. They're great to teach you to uh, stay in what we used to call the bowling pin. Now they're having you stay in, stay in the red, right? Uh, work on these drills. You can do other drills, but uh, by using these now as addition to actually doing the old CTEs or whatever drills you're currently doing, you know, this will help you sharpen that fine edge of the skills that you have, but it also lets you go online and you can post your scores and see where you stand against everybody else that's out there. Are you average Joe? Are you a gunman? Or are you an operator? If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below.